guys, after 80 something days, I can finally say that we are staring Kate Roth in the face. For those who don't know, that is the top of the country and it feels just amazing to even say that. We're missing a tide today, which is rare, but also really nice. Um, the weather out there is so bad. Uh, if we went and tried to swim against the, the tides and, and, the, and the wind and the waves, I basically wouldn't move anywhere. So Matt's given me the evening off and it sounds strange, but I just I just wanted to get snug. And I know I'm wearing a coat in bed, but I'm, I'm sweating a little bit. It's the first time in 80 something days where I'm actually warm and I'm sweating and it's a luxury. But the other thing I wanted to do was a little bit of homework. I wanted to sit down, look at past swim records and really take stock just because everything we've learned up until this point is now irrelevant. And that's because the top of Scotland it's, it's just a different beast. The waves are different. The, the temperature is definitely different. But the most disheartening thing for me is my speed through the water. Even that's different. And obviously there's many factors at play, um, whether it's the waves, the tides, um, obviously my swimming speed, whether I'm feeling fatigued, whether my shoulders are happy with me or sad with me today. Um, but just to give you an idea, it was literally a few weeks ago, we were going past the Isle of Skye and we set a great British swim speed record. Taz is gonna make this official. Taz has got GPS, handheld GPS, so when the time is right, boom. We're ready. So we've got a mile, got a mile, it's probably about like half an hour, where I'm gonna be cruising, just getting nice and warm. When I see Taz, I know that you have time to sprint. And I'm gonna be keeping pace next to him and monitoring the speedometer and noting down the speed. Need my bubbles hat? <laughs> <laughs> it's quite small. Is that gonna stay on? I mean, it's definitely gonna stay on. Oh. Probably gonna give you a headache. Oh. Eat my bubbles. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, 3.7. 3.7? Yeah. Come over down this way. No, follow me. <laughs> if you actually look at the progress from my past two swims, I mean, pff, I'm struggling to make two knots. I'm really crawling up to the top of Scotland. And obviously that's not good from a strategic point of view, because if we don't get around the top before the winter weather sets in, um, yeah, you know, that's bad news. But also just mentally as well. I mean, I, I thought once we came into Scotland, I'd be cruising around the top, my beard would be glistening in the sun, salt water spraying everywhere, and it's just not happening. It's, I am limping like an injured seal just around the top of Cape Roth, and we're just, we're clawing miles. Everything we've learned has changed. It, it's no longer two tides a day like clockwork. It's, now it's just like a game of hide and seek and and we're not winning. The plan for tonight is homework. Um, also as well, make sure you're packing away the calories, which is why I have a shopping bag for the jelly babies. Carb load, hydrate. Also as well, as well as the calories, as well as the carbs, uh, making sure I'm actually taking care of my immune system as well, which is why I'm eating anything and everything that is packed with vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, enzymes, anything I can find from the protein works, including super green shakes. I'm almost, I'm like a, like a injured feral dog waiting. <laughs> and when the gate opens, I'm gone. <laughs> The anticipation of coming to this area has been really mixed. You know, when you get up into the wilds of Scotland up here, it's really remote. You know, there's nothing up here really, other than mountains, very gnarly anchorages. It's completely exposed to the North Atlantic. And in this area, particularly around Cape Roth, you're getting away from the shelter of the islands here, of the Inner Hebrides, and out into a zone where you've got hundreds, actually thousands of miles of ocean. Uh, earlier in the Great British Swim, we had this situation where we could easily go, there's two tides today, the weather's, the weather's relatively good, 
let's go, whatever, because we know we've got somewhere to escape to, or it's calm enough that we can be at sea and heaving to at sea and not worrying about it. And one of the big differences in the Cape Roth area is that we're not just looking at um, putting Ross in whenever he can swim, we're also looking at where are we gonna end that swim and is it safe for the boat and crew and Ross to be there? What's up guys? Today's swim took an interesting turn just because I thought I'd seen everything there was to see around the Great British Coast. Um, minky whales, dolphins, different kinds of dolphins, different kinds of jellyfish. But today, Scotland decided to spring a little bit of a surprise on me. Um, I say little, it was a giant basking shark. Just boom, big belly massive mouth just going about its business. I'm still not entirely sure how I feel about sharing the swimming pool with a basking shark. The Great British Swim is far from over and it's still going to spring up so many surprises. Killer whales, walkers, I wouldn't be upset if I got all the way back to Margate and didn't see an orca. If I saw it from the boat, if I had a hot chocolate, that'd be different. I've been researching it. I've spoke to many marine biologists and experts. What might happen is they might mistake you for a seal. That's the problem. When I have my mask on, I do look like a seal. So I'm trying not to swim like a seal. I'm trying to swim so an orca probably takes a look at me and goes, that's not a seal. That is, that's a strangely shaped swimmer but it's not a seal and he probably doesn't taste great. And that's that's my best line of defense right now. Um, it's the killer whales that I'm not, I'm not comfortable with at the moment. A lot of the local fishermen as well and said, they've seen quite a few. And I saw a tweet the other day, I think it was um, a, a marine conservation uh, Twitter page. And it said that a famous old killer whale have been seen just down here. I'm just, I'm trying, what I'm doing, I'm thinking my best line of defense is I'm just trying to make myself look as unappetizing as possible. And like the beard, I ha you know, I haven't showered in, in 82 days. I can't imagine anything in the sea is looking at me going, I'll order one of those. <laughs> Main course, I want that. But overall, the wildlife so far has been good. I just hope my relationship with it stays like that. That's all I want. I just want to get to Margate. Still living in harmony with the sea life. Okay guys, that's it for this week. I'm um, about to get ready for what could be the final swim of the wild, wild west that is North Scotland. Um, genuinely, I'm a bit nervous about this one. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, just hoping that we can sneak around just before exactly. Mother yeah, Nature exactly. decides to throw a massive storm our way yeah, at Cape Roth. So, fingers crossed, touch wood, this is the last vlog I'll be making as I'm going north. And next time we speak, I'll be going east. Also, don't forget you can track my progress at redball.co.uk slash Great British Swim. But for now, I've got to suit up. It's time to get to work.